All right, assembly number 38. Um, here we go. So the next uh, part we're gonna work on is the fan duct, the MK8 fan duct. As you can see, it's a one part here. People ask, what are these two holes over here for? And the secret is, this is to turn a regular MK8 um, hot end, Creality style hot end that we put in here like this. It adds an extra part here to make it a direct drive. Uh, well, turns it pretty much into a V6 or J head as they say, and you can just mount it directly here. Um, don't have any to show you at the moment, but you get the idea. So let's stick, let's stay on track. Okay, so for the next part, you're gonna be taking your hot end, and uh, the red part like this, the assembly, you're going to take your fan duct and you're going to match them together. As you can see, there are two holes here. You're going to take uh, the M3 by 25 millimeter long bolts. You're going to pass them through each side over here till it sticks out. I would say stick it out just till it meets the top of the red over here. And then you're going to attach it to the MK8 mount, which is this little trapezoid that we had earlier. So let's go and do that. Don't worry about the fans for now. Just remember, leave them dangling. It's okay to have them dangling. Obviously you want to pass the cable from the top. Very important. So you don't you know, have to undo everything all over again. I already have my fans attached. Okay, so here's our assembly. The uh, power side is gonna be on the right. So I'll just make sure that's all lined up here. And um, so, MK duct, place it on top. We're going to pass through the bolts. This is a newer print, so here we go. One bolt, two bolts, but first obviously to make it life easier for everybody, we're gonna take it. And then we're going to uh, pre-tighten it, we'll call it. Pre-tighten it. There we go. And yeah, until it passes till right here, till it matches up over here. Great. And then it matches up on this side. There we go. And bada bing, bada boom. It's lined up. Now I'm going to just marry it over here. Pass it continuously till I get till I feel it on the other side with my finger over here. As you can see, it's passing through. Oops. Yeah, make sure it's lined up. There we go. There we go. Uh, this part is, uh, you know, tedious, but it works. And remember, guys, this is number 38 in the assembly manual. Um, I know it makes it seem in the manual that these are very fast steps. But, you know, if you have one of these electric screwdrivers, um, not a drill, they have them for, I think on AliExpress, 14, 15 bucks. I lost mine currently, but it's okay. I wanted to show you exactly, you know, go through the same pain you're gonna go through when it comes to the assembly part. Or excitement, I don't know. I, I enjoy the assembly part um, of any machine, that is, you know. And then you get to Ikea, and then you think you're a master of all machines. <laughs> but that never happens. Anyway, okay. So, they're, they're flushed with the end of the red, and now we're going to mount them onto the MK8 mount. Now, the reason it's done like this in two parts, like, why don't you just do one part and make life easier for a lot of people? And the answer to that question is, is that I wanted the part itself, the plate, to be printed easily. If I had to put um, a mount on that part, then what's gonna happen is, um, you're going to have to print with supports and everybody hates supports. It's just an extra waste of filament for no reason. No, it's for a reason, but it just makes prints, prints not pretty and stuff like that. For example, this fan dunk, duct, I uh, print face down, no supports whatsoever because the angles on it are perfect so that it doesn't have to worry about that. By the way, you're gonna go all the way down until it's about snug tight. You want this to have a least amount of play going back and forth. Once this is secure, Hopefully you'll never have to go back in here again. So yeah, this is secure and that is number 38. I know it sounds like the easiest one, but it's the longest one. 
And that was the end of that. So now we're gonna go with the fan assembly and shroud. I created these, um, how they call it, fan, a part fan bracket. You can see them. Inside them have little holes for the M2 nuts on the side. Um, or you can do it with M316. Oh, that's for the front. So, yeah. Now, before you do that, I just want to make sure you know that, like I said before, you take the nuts, you're going to press fit them in here, like so, and then they're going to lock inside. And once they lock inside, we're going to put the 40, uh, 40 by 10 fan in the front here, the sticker facing inwards, and we're going to place this on top like such. And then we're going to take our M3 by 16 screws and put them back in. I use self-tapping screws because, you know, it's, you know, securing into plastic. And that'll make that. So that's that. The next part I'm going to show you what that we're going to do. Um, obviously, you're going to have to pause the video because it's more tedious. But I just want to show it to you right now is this is what the fan is going to be on one side securing to this bracket and then we're going to have these fan shrouds which people keep on forgetting you have to print one and then you have to mirror print the other one so that it fits for each side now they fit in very perfectly and you know you slide in the m2 bolts over here so next video